all right my love how are you doing so if this really finds you you are in a place of considering changes to make in your workplace how you work um the environment in which you're working okay your workplace environment your workplace colleagues if you own your business these are people like where maybe where your physical store is located or the kind of um the niche in which you occupy okay so at this time you're considering what changes do i need to make what's really happening what am i know what have i not been aware of it's like on the current is flowing heavily like strongly and it's bringing some things to your awareness of okay maybe this is how i need to play differently this is how i need to do things differently but if you're seeing this message your mind your mind is around your money where you earn your money from where you earn income from and how you're looking at okay how can i what needs to be changed in this regard what am i not seeing clearly what needs to be improved upon what needs to be modified what needs to be considered what options am i know what options do i need to consider that i've not been considering okay so this reading is going to give you some more clarity into what to do in steps you need to take the modifications you need to um institute and instill and what you basically need to know about your current workplace all right um what i'm saying here, this is strongly like based on the relationships with your colleagues based this is like first and foremost it's more like um the human relationships human relations between you and your colleagues and then for those of you that have serving customers this is more like customer relations you're like okay what is it that my competitors provide that i'm not providing or what is it that the other people in my niche what are they providing that i'm able to provide and how can i like just figure it out because it seems like these people are taking all the clients all the customers their market base their market reach their audience is increasing but i'm not seemingly getting that attention okay so what do i need to get them all right so i'll be starting off with the riches deck because i've been wanting to use this deck for a while so let's see what messages do the riches have for you at this time in terms of what do you need to consider in terms of what you're transforming all right so you've got potions and spells a pinch of this a dash of that be sure be you are sure you, before you call be sure you are sure before you call okay so as i said you're really considering like okay what if i change this maybe i should change this maybe i should modify this maybe i should switch this up maybe i should do this maybe i should do that okay then you've got third of us, daughters of the woods feel thy sacred swell with swapfulness taste the gathering of onions milk feeling your emptiness um as i said you guys are really just in this place of considering like okay what do i need what needs to change in terms of how i work in terms of the work i do in terms of how i play in terms of how i you know attend to customers in terms of really my relations with people so i'm going to give you some more clarity into what needs to what needs to change in that aspect and how you can be instituting these changes okay you've been feeling this energy you've been feeling like okay maybe something is amiss it's like there's something you're not clear it's like there's something that is hidden from you that you're not sure about but you just feel like okay there's just something different i'm not being aware of or i'm not made aware of okay there's just something different i'm not being aware of i'm not made aware of okay so i'm going to go deep into your reading so all right so what's coming through as i said human relations personal relations but let's see if any of this has to do with maybe um people just trying to you know relay you or bad mouth you the cards seem to be flying off today yeah so really people relations a new community a new a new group of people who are more in thinking with how you think who are more in alignment with what you do who are more in alignment with what you think how you think things should go who are more in alignment with what you think like your company should be working on your industry should be focusing on so it's like this is really heavily personal relations okay so if you're working in an organization so this is you and your colleagues and you're realizing that you guys are not seeing eye to eye your ideas your values are different the way you want to approach some work is different from the way you want to approach work the way you basically see things is different your approaches your techniques your principles your practices your values all of those are different from 
what they conform to or what they are used to or what they are there to and this is creating ripples in your workplace which is the undercurrent you are feeling because you are feel you are really feeling their energy like okay there's something i'm just not aware of okay so that's happening and for those of you who are in who own your businesses because i'm it's like i'm speaking to two particular collectives but the collective of those being employed working in a workplace it's a lot more than the amount of people in a collective of business owners but i'm speaking to two collectives okay now for those of you who own your business and you found this message so this undercurrent you're feeling in your industry is more like you are wanting to take the industry in a new way you're trying to introduce new ideas new ways of doing things and this may not exactly this is making you feel like an outlier an outcast someone who is totally different so maybe you're in the catering industry and you're trying to maybe introduce like a new rate you're trying to give maybe like banquet fees and trying to introduce more but then the other people in your industry, is they are, they've set standards that, okay, this is what we are going to offer the customers. So now it feels like you are going against them. But you know what you're trying to introduce is something that is going to be beneficial for you in the long run. But you're not able to say that now. So right now, you guys are really feeling this energy of, okay, I'm not really sure I'm with the people who I need to be with. I want people who are more in alignment with how I think, more in alignment with my values, more in alignment with my principles. Basically, a just a, a more harmonious setting, a more harmonious group of people to work with, okay? Um, Spirit is at this time directing you to, you know, go on with these changes. For those of you who know that your workplace, the people there, you are not in same alignment, um, go on. Start looking out what companies, what employee, what employee, employee relations, what's the, what's the culture of the company out there that I can um that I can go to see you've got freedom. Um you never needed those wings to fly. Like what companies are out there? You guys will also be saying it, it, it. If you are sending this message, this is not by chance. You're going to be seeing it, it, it a lot. They're going to be saying it, 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 repeating themselves, okay? Because you've also got it here, you've got it here, you've got it here. And then the witches card, it flew out of the deck at straight point. Okay, so you are really debating at this point. You are debating like, okay, should I leave my current workplace? Is, does it make sense for me to leave my current workplace because of the people there? Am I so sure, am I so sure that where I'm going to, the people there are also going to, you know, buy into my ideas, they're going to have same values. Free spirit is... <laughs> When the messages and the channels are coming so fast, I'm able to catch my breath. I just like, <laughs> okay. So, spirit is saying you are free to leave where you are. Don't think that you have to be tied down, don't think that you can't go past you. It's like some of you feel like if you go out there, you're going to go and be starting from scratch, you're going to have to build your, you know, reputation, prestige, all of those. You feel like you're going to start from scratch, but no, you've already walked up to the top of the castle. You've, you, you, you you are not going any further in your current location okay you're not going any further in your current location that's why also now it feels like there's strife there's discord there's enmity people don't understand you it feels like you say something then they misunderstand you or take what you say out of context do you understand so at this point you're being invited to free yourself and really really put yourself out there explore what other companies what other companies will need your services where your lights can shine where your values can be appreciated um also for those of you um who are who are business owners spirit is saying at this time like why do you do you think you are giving your business for you to maintain a standard in an industry or in a niche no you are giving this idea for you to be able to help people actualize their dreams through, their, through your product through your services for people to be able to live a richer fuller life so if you have ideas that you know need to be incorporated why are you allowing the industry standards and settings to limit you from what spirit has put in your art to do so you're being told like you be the villain you be the one to write the stories you guys if you're saying these videos if you're saying this message spirit just wants to be the villain of the story don't think you have to just 
keep quiet and just continue to take what is being done. No, you have this urge within you to push the, you have this urge to push the envelope, to push the boundaries, to go out of the box, to introduce new concepts and ideas. But where you are currently, your current environment is not conducive and habitable enough for you to be able to foster and bring this idea to life. That's why you're also saying like, okay, something is amiss. There's something I'm not aware of. There are things happening. There, are, it's like there are groups of people, and I don't want to necessarily say banding together to talk about you, but there are groups of people that are not happy with these changes you're trying to introduce. Okay, so you can feel that energy, you can feel that vibration. For some of you, this may even be open out and meet you when they like tell you, oh, "We hate you, we don't like you, we think you're trash, we think your ideas are trash." No, it's simply because you guys you are not in alignment, and you can't force the alignment okay you can't force the alignment so at this point in time you guys are being moved you're being guided to change your communities change your workplace change your business environment if you are in a niche find an adjacent niche you don't have to stay in a niche you are all by yourself you can start a niche that's particularly for the entrepreneurs so don't think that you have to keep listening to this um persons for those, if you're watching this video, you would have been a lot of, um, you guys might have been listening to podcasts a lot more, listening to radio. Um, there's something about your or your oral senses, your oral senses, your audio senses being more activated at this time, okay? Um, so, step out. Go into this new beginning. You're going to be seeing 888. Um, you're going to be seeing 888. Spirit is like there's no other confirmation for me to give you. Like you finding this video is the final confirmation you need because you've been having this thoughts in your head. Like, okay, should I leave my current job? Should I leave where I am? Should I leave this? Should I leave this industry? Should I leave this company? Should I? Should I? Should I? You've been having all of these thoughts in your head, and this video, when you find it, it's just conf it's just giving you confirmation that yes, you're on track. You're not going crazy. You're not imagining things. Yes, it's actually happening. Okay, so this is a new time for you to go in a new direction. You guys are going to be seeing it, it, it a lot, as well as three it's three eight and three eight eight three eight, but eight 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 a lot. Okay, so you've got luck, and then you've got a new beginning. See, you are moving castles. You are moving location. You are moving. Your growth is capped where you are. So these new ideas you're getting, they are from your soul to help you expand because you've gotten to this point of expansion. So for you to expand, for you to go bigger, for you to go into this next place, you have to literally, you can't grow where you are. Do you understand? You've become so big for the environment where you are. It's not able to contain you. It's not able to support you. So you need to be expelled. So you are being ejected by spirits for you to be placed into a bigger environment. You are moving to somewhere where it's bigger. You are moving to a bigger entrepreneur. So, okay, so let me give you clues. I tell me to give you clues. If you've been working in a mom and pop, you're going to be that company. You guys are just moving bigger. You are, you are the big fish that's become too big for the pond in which you are. And so you're being moved to the lake, you're being moved to the sea. So if you're looking for a new job, if you're looking to change, look for an organization which has more employees. I'm hearing double double the employees eight thousand minimum double the employees you guys are going for bigger you're going for bigger space is placing you on a bigger platform to be seen okay for those of you that are entrepreneurs don't think spirit is just emphasizing that these ideas we've given you we want you to be the one to introduce it into your industry into your niche so if the people around you don't buy into it don't conform to what they are saying. You are free to write the story. You are free to reset the standards. You are free to elevate the standards of how things are being done, of how customers are being served. Okay. Um, you guys have luck on your side. This is what just what I'm just getting is like this is the right time for it. The, the timing is ripe. The timing is ripe for what you need to do. The timing is ripe for where you need to get to. Let's see, what archetype can you embody at this time to give you the courage to move forward for you? Okay, so embracing your shadows, the riddle, the underworld, the womb, the threshold, and the river. All right, so what's here is you guys are going to be, this also, this 
um, these changes in your community, you having to switch up, having to walk away from a workplace you've always known, colleagues you've always known, is going to force you to confront your shadows like, okay, what do I truly stand for? What do I truly want for myself? What do I truly, what do I truly want to put my work on? What do I truly want to put my, what do I truly want to back my expertise with? What do I truly want to do? What legacy do I really want to leave? So it's going to help you to confront your shadows around standing up for yourself, around going against the pack, around being the one that is standing, even if you are standing alone, but you are standing for your truth, you are standing up for what you believe. This is really going to help you face your shadows because you might have been someone who, you know, you know, like, okay, this thing should be done in a way, but if there's pushback from everybody, you just keep quiet and you don't want to do it. So this is going to help you. Um, face those shadows and really integrate your strength of being able to stand alone, being able to do things differently. You guys may also be feeling to do crossword puzzles, okay? That just came through. And I'm feeling pull to do crossword puzzles or coming across like brain scissors, brain games, I'm seeing mazes. It's just like your um your perception, your sense of perception is expanding and you're being on subconsciously you are improving your skills of being able to connect dots being able to see things from a higher perspective being able to take the helicopter view that's also coming through um i'm also hearing like you guys may also be feeling like listening to sounds of water or maybe hearing sounds of water pouring through so as you're crossing this threshold you are facing your shadows you are integrating your shadow self and why it may feel like you're alone you may really feel like you're alone. You guys may also be wearing a lot, maybe feeling pulled to wearing a lot more black at this time because you're actually like shedding a version of yourself to be able to step into a new version of yourself. So you might be feeling pulled to wearing a lot more black at this time. But Spirit is saying, as you go through these changes, you realize that you're the one who is birthing your life into reality. You're the one, you realize that you owe nobody your life but yourself. You owe nobody your joy but yourself. Like you can't keep postponing your joy because you want to be accepted because you want to be accepted in your community you're not realizing that there's actually a better more suited community a better more suited group of people better more suited group of colleagues that are going to be there there they are somewhere there they are somewhere waiting for you but not where you are so you have to have the strength and the faith of conviction to know that you are right what you are feeling is right and for you to be able to move forward into this new beginning you guys at this point you are crossing the threshold of releasing your shadows embracing your shadow self and really transforming transformation is here for you and while some people may be like oh you're not appreciative you are um ungrateful maybe because of how much the company has invested in you no it's not that you've also given back to the company but now it's time for you to move on because they're not ready to listen to you okay they're not ready to listen to you and you can't keep quiet you have to do what you need to do you guys it's almost like you're also going to get a lot more familiar with the mirrors seeing your reflection seeing your reflection like over this period of time over this next one month from reading to this video, you're going to spend a lot more time in front of the mirrors, really looking in front of mirrors, especially. What I'm seeing is like maybe you have been taking a shower in the bathroom and you're just looking at your mirror and you're looking at your face. It's like you're seeing a new version of yourself come to life. You're seeing a new version of your face. If you feel like your face is morphing. So you guys might some of you may have might be having breakouts. But there's just something about your face change. It feels like your your facial skeleton, your facial structure, your facial bones are resetting and remolding to still show you. But it's like a more wilder, refined, more natural version of yourself. Because you are no more looking at maintaining appearance, keeping faces. I'm also hearing the word gone, gone, gone. So some of you may feel like you've lost weight recently, or your cheekbones are more um, pronounced, more prominent. Your cheeks may also be a bit more hollow. So it may, your face may appear leaner. That's what I'm saying. Gone, gone, gone. Like your face is going to appear leaner over this four months. Over this four months no one month <clears throat> over this four weeks yeah over this four weeks your face is going to appear leaner more guns um 
cheekbones more pronounced more prominent and people are going to be like oh did you lose weight recently okay that's going to be more obvious i'm also saying something about having more um beard or air coming from your chin for the males having like more like your hair is growing a lot faster yeah that's what your hair is growing a lot faster so you're seeing like three o'clock shadows and stuff even if you are someone who shades your your hair grows faster if you're keeping a bird it's growing faster so like your face is just changing your facial structure your facial morphology is changing all right so you're at this point of threshold and it's like you're leaving the darkness for the light okay you've been in the darkness now you're being moved into the light the light is you awakening to your own needs not putting yourself first not trying to conform to what everybody is saying because they are saying it should be when you know deep down when you know deep down there's a different way in which you should be moving there's a different way in which you should be playing there's a different way in which things need to be done there's a different way in which things need to be done okay let me see let's see what animals will you see at this time that will reassure you that you are moving in the right direction okay let's see what animals for you guys are coming through all right so you've got raving giving you the gift of confidence you guys i told you you're going to be pulled to wearing blacks a lot more so blacks grays but blacks with white muted grays but blacks a lot more okay confidence see the raving is here for you you are encouraged to disconnect from your physical or materialistic plan and move to the spiritual realm you have a deep spiritual connection which you mustn't ignore you are on the brink of transformation and your divine purpose may be revealing itself see this is you crossing the threshold you are at that point of breaking through at that point of breaking through and stepping into the light i also want to say like this is another level of spiritual awakening for you because you are realizing okay me saying these things these things i'm trying to promote in the company these things i'm trying to promote in the industry that i'm trying to get them to do it's not just coming from me it's coming from deeper we say me it's like there's something directing you to say those things to do those things to propose those ideas and the pushback you keep receiving from your current environment is also being orchestrated and divinely set in motion because that is not where you're supposed to implement these ideas Oof that's not where you're supposed to implement this idea so at this time you guys are going to be saying ravings a lot more you encourage your confidence the raving is here to help you build up your confidence to dis disconnect from the physical world to disconnect from the material world and to focus on the spiritual realm you have a very deep spiritual connection which you must not ignore you're on the brink of transformation and your divine purpose is revealing itself through these changes you need to make okay all right so let's see final message for you I was pulled to this deck let's see one final confirmation for you to help you know that this message is for you what message does this deck have for you this is an astrology deck so i'm wondering it's like maybe spirits want to confirm your astrological signs or the signs that yeah okay so air placement is very significant air placement energy is significant so gemini sagittarius sleep that's a Sagittarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energies are significant. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energies are significant. So you might also be have the signs as your Sun, Moon, or Rising. Okay, it doesn't matter. You have Stellium in it. Um, you might also be a Saturn in Aquarius. Okay, but your air energy is significant. You are also being guided. Um, you are also being guided to. There are two things that just came in <laughs> simultaneously. Okay, you're also being guided that this and this, even if you are not Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, is the air energy within you because everybody has all the signs within them. So it's the air energy within you that is being activated. That's why you are being pushed to speak up a lot more. You want to be more communicative. You want to share your ideas. You want to grow your ideas. You want to connect with people. You want to build better relations. And all of this are because of your air energy being activated. So it's like you are waking up, you know, you are doing this. You're waking up to the truth of what you are and you're embodying you're stepping forward into the truth of who you are so in stepping forward into the truth of who you are it's normal for you to be able to for you to share the skin of who you once were 
who you want to wear okay so this is like this energy of change and every energy of movement as i said this is something that is happening fast this has been delayed for so long it feels like you've been having this urge it's been building up it's been building up but then you've kept it low you've kept it low and it's been delayed for so long and now things are going to be moving very fast as i said this is not going to go beyond four weeks some of you might find yourself leaving your old job, moving to a new job, all in the span of four weeks. I'm like, what? But this change is happening in four weeks, four weeks max. This is very, 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 very fast energy. So you are moving through this process of confronting your shadows, realizing that, oh, this is what has been happening that I've not been seeing this, and this is why this is happening. So you are going to go, go through a release process, which is what the Raven is here to encourage you to do, to release your attachment to the physical and materialistic plane. And then to really go back into your higher self to remember your soul purpose for coming into the world at this time, for being born at this time, for I need to catch my breath. <laughs> for being born at this time, for being given the divine, like your soul assignment. Okay. And then once that comes in, once that is congregated, once that is like made all in your in your in your spirit in your spirit mind once that once that has been made oh it's going to give you the push you need to cross this threshold and really stand in a place of reflection like okay how do we move from here where do we go from here so as i told you if you're working if you're an employee look you're moving to a bigger company nothing less than eight thousand persons will do because spirit is ready to use you on a bigger platform so spirit demands that you put yourself in a place where your light will be seen all right, you put yourself in a place where your light will be seen. So if this message finds you, that was your message from Spirit. That's what you need to know around your work, around your income source, around your source of life. You with things are changing. You're being asked to detach from your you're being asked to detach from physical and materialistic realm and to move into your spiritual needs to fulfill your spiritual desires because you have a very deep spiritual connection with spirit. It's like you've been doing your own thing all this well, and now spirit is like, okay, I'm ready to collect. I'm ready for you to honor the commitment, the agreement you made to me before you came here. So, so it's like your higher self is like, okay, it's time for us to deliver. It's time for us to make good on this promise. It's time for us to really, really commit to why we came to, what we came to do, and why we came here at this time. All right, my love, that was your reading. So, if this reading finds you, that was your message. Um, I love you. Spirit loves you. You've got this and you've got all the confidence you need. You guys are going to be seeing ravens a lot more in life forms. The ravens are like, don't forget to mention us again. You're going to be seeing them in physical form. You're going to be seeing their objects, their drawings, their pictures just coming through. And all I'm just saying is call, 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 call. You're going to be hearing their sounds even if you don't physically see the birds. Okay, baby, let me go. I love you. Ciao.